Hi, it's Mo Maduro here talking to you about California Superbike School. As a disclaimer, I am not affiliated with the Superbike School. I'm not paid to do this. In fact, they've been paid for this shirt from the California Superbike School. But I'm here talking about the school because it's such a safe way to be riding on track and to get fast while doing it. And there's an old saying, you dance with who brung you. And I can remember at Texas World Speedway at around 1980, looking over to the far side of the track and I'd see the California Superbike School truck over there. And so I checked it out, found out the price. And I remember making the conscious decision that I could not afford to go to the school because I needed the funds for my entry fees and tires and such. Now keep in mind, in those days, there were no track days. To ride on the track, you literally signed up to race. And you were practicing as a brand new novice with experts. I remember Doug Poland flying by me, using me like a rolling pylon. It was pretty intimidating. So what you do is you sign up for more races. I would sign up for five races a weekend and do my practices on Saturday, five races on Sunday, and that was my learning. Obviously, looking back, it would have been a much better use of my time and money to have gone to the California Superbike School. Fast forward 20 years, in around 2000, doing a lot of twisty riding, going to Smoky Mountains, Cherahala Highway, Blue Ridge Parkway, Tail of the Dragon, great roads like 250, the roads in Southeast Ohio. There were dozens of us who would get together in different parts of the country who had the BMW K12 RS. This bike was an amazing machine. It was great for the twisties and you could ride the 500 miles to get to the to get to those mountains. These guys, I could beat them on the track. We did track days on those bikes as well, but I couldn't beat them on the street. And I couldn't figure it out. Now, part of it is, you know, obviously the more chances you take, the faster you're gonna be on the street. I played that game in New York City, learned, and it doesn't end well. So not one to like making the same mistake twice. I check out Superbike School. I went to a two-day camp at Mid-Ohio, and it changed my riding approach. It changed what I think about riding. It changed my approach to track. Now, at a two-day camp, you have one on-track coach for every two riders. So, and you have eight sessions a day. Now, people think, oh, it's a school, I don't wanna to go to school, it's, it, they make you go slow, it's follow the leader. No, you go as fast as you want, as fast as you can, and they're constantly working on that next thing you've gotta do. I will tell you, I learned some things in that class that I, I use today. Uh, since then, I've done uh, maybe four or five camps. You get level four after the, uh, by the fourth class, you're level four. It's basically a consultative model where you go in working on what you want to work on. And one of the things I like about the school, if I go in there and say, yeah, I want to get smoother in this kind of a turn. They say, okay, uh, how's this, how's that? And they start looking at things. And they may start working on something completely different because until you get A, it's difficult to do B and C. And once you have the B and C, then you can start working on what you came to work on and it happens a lot faster. I've done 30 days with Superbike School and I've got well over 100 days on track under my belt. And in the last 30 years, I've not been down on the track and I've only gone off the track once. Now that's not to say I'm some great rider, there's a lot of factors that go into that. But I'll tell you, the way I learned in the 80s was trial and error. You try things until it doesn't work, and when you crash, you realize, oh, you gotta do something differently. Well, you know, that's one thing when you're on bikes that top out at 140 miles an hour. Today's bikes can do 200 miles an hour. Trial and error is not a way to learn, folks. So this thing about if you're not crashing, you're not getting better, I 100% disagree with it because it's a building blocks thing, and you can actually get very, very fast without crashing. In fact, I look at it like downhill ski racers, and I say there's two kinds of downhill ski racers, those who race and those who crash and used to race. So it's sort of like that in my mind with track days. If you crash enough times, you're gonna either get disinterested or you're gonna to get to the point where you just aren't together anymore. You can be safe on the track, and there are people who in the 70s and 80s still are riding hard on the track. And on top of that, you get to use a current model BMW S1000RR. Now, sure, you can test ride a BMW S1000RR, but it's like a four or five mile, eight mile loop. You're on the street. You're not really going to be able to test the bike in its environment. If you go to a camp, you're going to be on a, a current model S1000RR for two full days, eight sessions a day. That's 16 sessions. If you do a one day, you'll probably do five sessions 
but again, you'll be on a current model S1000RR. It's a great way to do an extended test ride. And let's talk about that for a minute. When I went to that camp 20 years ago, the Superbike School was using the Kawasaki 636. It was a great bike, I had fun on it, Mid-Ohio, Barber, uh, other tracks as well. And then later on, BMW introduced the S1000RR. Within a year or two, the Superbike School switched over to the S1000RR. That was a great nod to that bike. So with the ride modes and traction control and ABS, they were able to improve their safety record even further with the, with the a leader bike by using the ride mode. To get a taste of what you might learn at the Superbike School, check out Keith Code's books, Twist of the Wrist, especially Twist of the Wrist Volume 2, and The Soft Science of Road Racing. These are great books, and I used to use these books on the street, which is what got me into the school because I realized what he was talking about worked and it made a lot of sense and I wanted to get more. And so I did go to the school and took a, a two-day camp. Now at the two-day camp, that learning process, you start with all of the different components and they pull it together in a way that's gonna help you go fast, safely. So you're not out there doing trial and error. It makes a lot of sense. And the other thing, there is a conditioning component. There's one thing to hear something, another thing to learn it, and then yet another to have it conditioned. The way they've set the school up, they're conditioning those right habits with you. If you're out there doing track days, you're spending a couple hundred dollars on a track day. If you're an Alita bike, probably another three or four hundred dollars on tires, once you do your oil change. By the time you've done all of that, you're very close to a track day on their bike, on the S1000RR. Of course, you could bring your own, but by using the S1000RR, you also normalize, right? The bike can do it. So if I'm not doing it, it's obviously me. It takes that variable out of it. And so you're already spending close to the cost of a class session with Superbike School. I encourage you to consider that. There's some great tracks that you can ride, fly, arrive and ride. They have the gear for you, you use their bike. And in doing that, I've met people from all over the world who are flying in to take those Superbike classes. Superbike School has some track days coming up in Northern California in September. Click the link in the lower left to get to the schedule, sign up online, camp or track days, it's worth it. And ANS Motorcycles has a promotion going on with a free drawing for you to register for a California Superbike School track day on September 19th. So head on over to aspowersports.com, click on past newsletters and find the April 3rd newsletter and you'll get the details for that promotion and be able to sign up there. And I'm telling you, track riding can be safe. It's a blast, you can go fast. And if you do it the right way, you're not taking all these chances that people are taking when there's trial and error. So if you're ready to take your riding to the next level, click the link in the lower left, head over to the schedule, sign up for a class or a camp, pick a day, sign up for it, make the commitment, get your friends on board, take a class with the Superbike School. You'll be glad you did. And as another disclaimer, I do sell BMW motorcycles, including the S1000RR at ANS Motorcycles in Northern California. So I am partial and I think it's a great bike to learn on because it can be forgiving in the safer ride modes and extremely aggressive and responsive as you dial up to race mode. <laughs>